Today calls for a red lip. Because red is the color of power. And today, we are harnessing our power and our confidence to present ourselves to the world, gray hair and all. Let's get it. Good morning, everyone, on this glorious Sunday. I hope that everybody's doing well. My name is Sylvie, and welcome to The New Narrative, a channel where I like to contribute to the art of rewriting your new narrative by storytelling, vlogs, and just information sharing in general. Today, I want to talk about gray hair and confidence. I feel very strongly about this whole gray hair thing. A lot of people don't think it's a big deal, but for many women out there, as I've found out, oh my goodness, sorry, there's a plane. <sighs> my bad, y'all. I live on a busy street. It's noisy. It's noisy here. I'm sorry. I, I'm apologizing in advance. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. I've been wanting to do this kind of video because, you know, my initial video about my gray hair journey and then the follow-up about products that I use should kind of include also confidence building when it comes to gray hair too. So I've decided to give you guys 10 effective suggestions to build self-confidence when sporting your gray hair. All right, let's go. Number one, when it comes to gray hair, own your decision. Now, I've read your comments. I've read so many comments about women who maybe want to go gray, but can't because they lack the self-confidence. Tried to go gray, but then stopped because again, lack of self-confidence, trepidation, anxiety, and basically societal pressures. And, you know, I'm here to tell you, I am with you and I feel you because I've been there. In 2017, my hair was jet black. The gray was coming in, but I just kept dying. And then I went from black to blonde, and then from blonde to natural. And it took all of that time, from 2017 to now, for me to accept my gray hair and to be confident in my gray hair. So trust and believe, I've been there, but I have arrived. I'm, I'm here now. It took time. It took time. My journey is not your journey. Her journey is not the other person's journey. We all have our own race. A lot of Silva sisters out there are sporting their gray hair and loving it and rocking it with confidence and pride. And I salute y'all. But I understand the other side. I've been on the other side. There's ups and downs. There's awkward stages. There's, again, societal pressures. I've had different reactions to my hair that range from, girl, you look good, to, oh, um, it's different, to, mm, I couldn't do that, honey. Uh uh. I get all the reactions. But you know, mostly though, I do get compliments. But I don't live off of that. I live off of the confidence that I have within me. The confidence that I've been able to build over time as I shed layers of the Fs that I give, <laughs> which are fewer and fewer as I get older. And it's wonderful. Truthfully speaking, everybody has their own timetable. So if you're not ready right now, it's okay. Take your time with it. And once that confidence sets in, you're going to look back and think, what? what in the hell? So when it comes to your gray hair journey, own it. Two, surround yourself with positive influences. Follow people 
both online and in real life, who rock their gray hair and inspire confidence. Positive influences and positive role models can really help in shifting your mindset to gray. When I was starting to go gray, I made it a mission of mine to seek other people who were wearing their hair proudly. And it kind of gave me that little boost to take the plunge into gray hair. Doing something on your own can sometimes feel nerve wracking, but a lot of times when we see other people, especially people we admire, doing that thing that we actually admire, it inspires confidence in us. And it makes us be able to say, hey, I can do it too. They're doing it. Really surround yourself with people and influences and content creators and performers, whatever, who are wearing their gray hair and who are proud to do so. It really helps. Three, redefine beauty standards. Challenge the idea that youth is the only standard of beauty. Now, I don't know about you, but gray hair is striking and it could be just as attractive. And as a fellow gray haired sister, let me tell you, I own this. I get a lot of compliments for my hair and I'm not even being braggadocious. It's just fact. Mm -hmm. I know beauty is relative. And this to me is pure beauty. And I'm sorry, but you will never convince me that this isn't attractive, but this is. This isn't attractive, but this is. It's all attractive and it's all beautiful. We just haven't been given the chance to support it with the pride and empowerment that is due to us. But that's okay. We can claim it and honey, I claim it. Period. Four, experiment with styles. Update your wardrobe, try different hairstyles, look for inspo pics online. All of these things can help you in your gray hair transformation. I know that when I decided to go gray, I knew that there's certain colors that go really great with gray, like lavender, pink, um, obviously black, red, <laughs> right? So I, you know, I, I experiment with different outfits. I wear different things, even my makeup, you know, get your inspo from people in your life, go online, look things up. I get so much inspiration from gray hair content creators and influencers. And while I don't get caught up in overconsumption and fast fashion, I do like to get classic pieces that I can wear time and time again. I've definitely been able to, you know, put together some really great looks. Now that we're heading into the fall, I'm looking forward to, you know, autumn colors, which go fantastic with gray. So yeah, just, you know, get to experimenting. Five, practice self-care with the hair. Invest in quality hair care products. Now, hair care products can range, right? You have your drugstore variety all the way up to high-end designer products. You don't have to go the high-end route. There are quality products that are affordable and really do a fantastic job for your hair. Now, obviously, if it's in your budget, get the top stuff. But just understand that designer products doesn't always mean that it's going to work for your hair. Now, if you're interested in products that I've been using recently, I posted this video about gray hair products that I use currently, and uh, I'll leave a link to it up here. So give it a watch and, um, you know, get some ideas going and try out some products to help beautify, moisturize and hydrate gray hair. Gray hair is a special kind of hair. Sometimes it can get wiry, it can get dry. So quality products definitely helps in building that confidence boost you need to be sporting your hair. Woo, so much talking. A lubrication is needed. All right, let's go. Six, focus on your health and wellness. Guys, 
I can't stress this enough. Take care of your body. Take care of your skin. Take care of your overall well-being. All of these factors contribute to how your gray hair grows, feels, and looks. Feeling healthy from the inside helps you to project confidence in your appearance, including your gray hair. At my age, I try to eat better. I try to live better. When it comes to things that contribute to stress, I reduce that by not partaking in unproductive conversations. I focus on my interests. I live unapologetically. I have nothing to prove to anybody. In doing these things, they contribute to my overall well-being. And it reflects in how my hair looks and how my hair feels and how I feel when I'm outside facing the world. Taking care of yourself is, is key in all facets. Celebrate the milestones. Treat every phase of your gray hair journey as an achievement, whether you're fully gray or just transitioning. Appreciate the journey. Treat every step and every goal reached as a reason to celebrate because it truly is. I remember when I went from sporting my head wraps forever to finally removing the wraps and walking out in all of my gray hairness. <laughs> it was amazing for me. It was truly a, a, a crowning achievement in my gray hair journey. These kinds of steps should be celebrated because they're yours to experience. And that's special and should definitely be celebrated. Eight, affirm your beauty daily. Use daily affirmations to remind yourself of just how beautiful and unique and special that you are. Positive self-talk can make a huge difference. Let me give you some examples. Okay, my gray hair is a symbol of wisdom, beauty, and strength. I embrace my silver strands as a part of my authentic self. Every gray hair tells the story of my growth and experience. My gray hair adds to my radiance and uniqueness. You see how easy that was? Now it's your turn. Nine. Connect with the gray hair community. You know, there's strength in numbers. And the gray hair journey, while is an individual thing, you don't have to feel alone. There are tons of Facebook groups and Instagram groups and profile pages and YouTube content creators who are so giving with their time, sharing their experiences, and wanting to convey to anyone who is interested in listening that gray hair is okay. Seek these groups, join these groups, share your experiences. I know that this channel of mine is, is not a gray hair channel, but I've been doing a lot of gray hair content because this is what's going on in my life right now. And at first when I posted, I really didn't think anything of it. I really didn't think anything was going to come of it. I wanted to simply post about an experience that I'm going through as a 49 year old woman. And I wanted people to know that if anyone else is experiencing these things, that they're not alone. And 35,000 views, hundreds of comments later, here I am continuing to discuss this topic because it actually resonates with so many of you. And I'm truly, truly grateful for this tiny community that I'm actually building. I welcome every single one of you guys. Thank you. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for you subscribing. I'm grateful for you watching. I'm grateful for you sharing the content, but mostly I'm grateful that I'm able to, in my own way, let people know that the silver foxes are out. We are in huge numbers. We just need to find each other and connect. 10. Be patient with yourself. Building confidence takes time. And as I've stated before, 
everybody has their own timetable, but it's important for you to be kind to yourself as you transition. There's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be an awkward phase. Understand the awkward phase. It exists and you're going to go through it. It's your job to build the confidence needed to follow through in your gray hair journey because it has to come from you. It has to come from within. And while externally we are affected by what other people think at the end of the day, what you think of yourself and how you react to what other people say determines how this journey pans out for you. But be patient with yourself. Take the time that it needs. Go through the ups and downs that will inevitably come in this journey. And just know that when you come out on the other side, it's so much better. You'll emit a confidence that people won't be able to deny. So be kind to yourself, be patient, and give yourself permission to go through every phase on your own terms. All right, everybody, that's all that I have for you today. I hope that this video has helped in some kind of way. Let me know in the comments what you're going to do to build confidence in this gray hair journey. Are you transitioning? Are you fully gray? Let me know in the comments. Um, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you are so inclined, please feel free to subscribe. I have really enjoyed posting um, gray hair content and I hope that you guys have as well. I am excited about having reached another milestone of 800 followers on my way to 1K and I couldn't be more excited. I have you guys to thank. I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys who are watching and subscribing and appreciating. Um, it takes a lot to do these videos, but I love doing them. Um, I love content creation. And for now, I'm having a good time with it and I'm gonna continue. So thanks again and uh, have a great day.